Microsoft Excel has got all sorts of different functions and they've broken these functions up into various categories. Earlier in this course we were taking a look at more logic based or conditionally based functions. If function, sum if, count if, if error. Now we're going to take a look at the lookup and reference category and we're going to take a look at three or actually four of the more popular lookup and reference functions. And we're going to start out with perhaps the most popular lookup and reference function, the VLOOKUP or vertical lookup. Now before we jump in and take a look at the inner workings of the vertical lookup or VLOOKUP function, let's talk about the sample that we have here. What are you going to use this for and why is it so important for you? So open in front of you, I've got the exercise file that comes with this course and I'm currently on the VLOOKUP function worksheet. Now we're actually going to be working with two worksheets. This one and right next door the master employee list. This is going to allow us to combine between both of these worksheets here. So first here's the setup. So on this VLOOKUP worksheet I've got a simple but incomplete list. I've got some employee IDs and I've got some samples of the vertical lookup already completed that are getting last names. Now these last names are actually contained or where I'm getting the data from is on the master employee list. If I give that one a click, here I've got the complete list. I've got a, a list here of employee IDs, last names, first names, departments, and so on. This would be considered the master list. Now let's imagine some department has come to you and said, hey, I need to get all of these employees information. All I've got is their IDs. Here you go. They give you a list of IDs, all these employees. Now it's up to you to go get the relevant information that they now need about those employees. Well, you ever done this manually? You ever grab a list of IDs or some numeric value identifying some record and then jumping over and kind of manually picking through the list? Oh, here's 1290, their name was Cooper. I'm gonna copy and paste that to the other worksheet. That's a lot of work to go through, very, very manual process. Well, this is the idea of the VLOOKUP. The vertical lookup will take some ID from us, some numeric value that we give it, and say, hey, vertical lookup, I've got this ID, it's 1054. I want you to jump into this list over here called Master Employee List, Find vertically, right, it's a VLOOKUP, find the employee ID 1054 in the first column of that list. It'll travel vertically looking for it. When you find it, bring the first name back to me or bring the department back to me or whatever it is that you're asking for. This is the VLOOKUP function. It's a simple lookup. Give it some value. Tell it where to find that value. Once it finds it, Tell it what you want in connection with that value. Let's try this out. I'm going to go into cell C3. This is on the vertical lookup or VLOOKUP function worksheet. Now, I want to get the first name for employee number 1054. So I'm going to go up to my formulas tab. I'm going to go into lookup and reference. And I'll find VLOOKUP. It's all the way down at the bottom. All right. And here's the argument window for the VLOOKUP function. So it's got four things that it wants from us in order for it to complete this task of finding the first name based on these IDs. The first thing it needs is, well, hey, I, I know you want first name eventually, but how am I going to find the correct first name for you? Well, the lookup value, this is going to be the ID, A3 or 1054. So hey, Excel or VLOOKUP, go look for this value. It's inside of A3. Now, where am I going to look for it? That's the next argument, the table array. Great, you've given me this ID, 1054. Well, where do you want me to go look for it? Well, table array, I'm going to go down to master employee list, and I'm going to grab this entire list here, starting in A3. Then I'm going to do control shift down arrow on my keyboard. This will grab that entire column. And then I'm going to do control shift right arrow. I'm going to grab the entire list from A1 to I38. 
So we got the value you're looking for. We've now told it where to look for it. And by default, a vertical lookup looks vertically through the first column of the table array, the, the list that you just specified here. Now, before I go back to the other worksheet, the next one, call index num. Well, I'm looking for this. I'm going to find it here. What do you want me to return back to you? That's what the column index num is. Well, I need you to return first name, which is in column number one, two, three. So I'm going to say column index num is equal to three. So find this for me, look for it over here, and return the third column's value back to me. Now the last one here, the last argument, this is optional, although for me I'd say like 95 plus percent of the time I use it. What this is, and if you just click into one of these arguments, you get a brief little description down below. It's a logical value to find the closest match in the first column sorted in ascending order, put in the word true or leave it blank. If you want to find the exact match, and this really deals with what it's looking up, this A3 value, this 1054, to find the exact match, you're going to put the word false in there. So for me, you know, thinking this is employee information, if it can't find employee number 1054 over in that master list, I don't want the closest employee to that number. I want the exact employee, and if you can't find it, then don't return anything back to me or give me the standard error. So in this case, I'm going to put the word false. And that's it. Four little things. What am I looking for? Where am I going to find it? What do you want it returned back to you? And whether or not you want the exact match or not. And that's it. I hit OK. There's Howard. Howard Smith is employee number 1054. And if I just confirm this, master employee list, there it is, Howard Smith. I'll go back, and I'm going to finish it off. I'll grab that little box in the corner, just drag this down, and now I've got all the first names for these employees. Try this out. Open up the example file, complete the first name, jump over to department, do pay rate, complete these lookup values based on the master employee lists.